I'm Wolverine, as you all know. Um, and uh, basically, I can cut through anything. You know, with these things. Yeah, except the tomato. Because I get, like, it's something about the skin. It's got, like, an ephemeral skin that just it blocks the blades. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> blocks the blades. Motherfucker, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Ooh, hold on a minute. I think we got something. I think I broke the skin. Anyway, I'll mess with that later. Right now, I got some important things to talk about. People ask me, well, how come you're not seeking help to try to solve your mutation? Well, first of all, who said I wanted to solve it? You know, if you had something like this, would you be rushing to solve it? No. You'd be embracing it, like I am. I can poke it, I just can't cut it. Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I am trying to cure it. I am trying to solve it. Um, but I don't know where to go to get help, you know. Department of Mutant Affair. Have you seen the Department of Mutant Affairs lately, Chip? Okay. You know, it's not like, I mean, it used to stand for something. It used to mean something. You'd go there and you had a voice. I know why. Oh, pray tell, Chip. What's your viewpoint on it? We shot on funding. Oh, they have the same amount of funding that they had 100 years ago. But they were great then. Try another one. I want to know how you get a knife for hand. I was, I was playing softball with Magneto. And it was one on one. And I was kicking his butt. And he was getting pissed. This was back when Magneto was a good guy. But he, I beat him in like three rounds in a row. And he was just like fuming. And he started turning into this like evil guy that wanted to take over the mutant world. Who would you stand I tried to talk him out of it. I was unsuccessful. And I left to walk across the street to my car. And I was like, I'll see you later, Magneto. We'll pick up tomorrow. And he's like, never! And I walk across the street to my car. A bus is coming by. He uses his metal powers to slice off a shard of the bus. The metal part. He sends it flying into me. And at the same time, the little elf that lives in Magneto's belly um, shoots a fireball onto the shard of bus. As it comes into me, shoots it right into my fingers. Goes right into my arms. Yay deep. And then pops out these knives. So now whenever I need a you know set of knives and I'm just like hanging out, I just pop and I go and they pop right out like that. So needless to say, you know, things are going pretty well when I need knives, but otherwise, you know, I'm just I'm like an outcast and I can't deal with it anymore. Yeah, I'm getting tired of this. I just want to get get rid of these knives. So I called Magneto and I challenged him to a game of softball and I lost on purpose and I was like, God, you're so great, Magneto. You're so good at softball, right? He bought it. And uh, I was like, can you get rid of these knives now? Because you're as cool and I'm not. And he's like, he's like, all right, man, I'll get rid of your knives. One thing I'm worried about is when I lose these knives, I might lose Gene. And I'm not going to be okay with that. You see, me and Jean, she's like an animal in bed. She's got these powers that are just crazy. And she just drives it for like four or five hours straight. Please. And sometimes it's overkill. But she's just like crazy with it. And this dumb Spock guy is trying to get rid of her powers. I'm like, Spock, do not mess with this girl. She, her powers are there for a reason. Okay, someone higher than you has figured this out. <laughs> when he was making her, he knew that she was going to be good for me, and I don't need you getting in the way of that. And me and Spock got in a little tiff over that. But the fact remains, gee, I don't mind losing my knives because they really don't help in the bedroom and elsewhere, to be honest with you. Again, I got a tomato, like I just pointed out. But uh, I can't cut through steel walls, though. Don't let me kid you. You know, I, the tomatoes are tough. Uh, but these don't serve many purpose. With Jean's powers, I don't care. I mean, they're, apparently they're torturing her and they're destroying her and they're going to eat away at her. And those are bad things? You know, no. Not in the bedroom. And that's what counts. So.
Well, that's right, I have to say the mutant prayer before they'll go away. Holy mutant fires high, I am having another stand. Oh, thanks, Magneto. Whew. Free at last. What's that, Magneto? Softball tomorrow? Sure thing. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, probably gonna beat me. That's my stand. I'm no longer a mutant. I still got it.